Wildwood was the album that was like, uh, let's not call it a comeback, all right, you know. But it was like, fucking hell, man, these tunes are mega. All of a sudden I was flavour of the month again. The records were so successful, I was back on top. It was funny to coming out of the cold after all that time. And then all of a sudden I'm on the front cover of the enemy again, and everyone loved me. I was a mixture of amusement, and I suppose a bit of relief as well, that people still liked me. Around that time, and we went and did Glastonbury, and I think that once again, Paul's reputation as a live player was really, really hit. Because I can remember that we were playing just as the sun was going down, which is always the best time to play at the festival. 100,000 people there, and you, you could tell that they were with us. That's when the live thing really started to go into to orbit. I certainly couldn't have predicted how it all went, how it all blew up as big as it did in you know, the early 90s. After the council split up, I mean, I had no idea what was going to happen. I didn't know if I was ever going to go back into music. I, I had no fucking idea whatsoever. I, I thought maybe it was all over. He had never, ever before paid any attention to people saying he was fantastic and you're great and da, da, da. He'd just taken it in his stride, never had a problem, and he nearly lost it and got it back. I think Paul decided this was his time now to act the rock star. And that just meant going out drinking more, maybe before when he wouldn't flirt with women, maybe he's doing that, and I don't know. He kind of just lost the plot a little bit and it kind of threw him, threw him off, you know? He kind of got on a wild horse and got thrown off very badly. They split up. Pretty much the night that we did Glastonbury, he just told me that they'd split and he wasn't sure where he was going to be staying and uh, all those horrible things that happened. In, and, and I was like, blimey, this is as good as it's been for ages. And But, like, you, you know, maybe there is that element of, of, of needing chaos a, a, around you. Some, some people are like that. I was running around an awful lot. I was having a fucking good time as well and loving it. The downside was that I'd ruined my relationship and my marriage. and I, that's inexcusable, really. I know now to this day that some people spend their whole life looking for what I had at that time with Paul. And if I never get it again, I actually did have it. Some people are still looking for it, so that's exactly what we had. It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> 